These little darlings are my new R2L bite alarms. Been using these for a few months now and they are my go-to bite alarm for, for all my carp fishing that I've been doing. So I, last year I used the SMX, um, gave that a great trial out and, and used that for a whole year in different situations. Um, and now I'm on the R2L, which um, are really, really pleasing to the eye, first of all, with the metallic, old school, almost GPO style speaker. Um, soft touch rubberized casing, very, very striking looking, but um, what goes on inside the alarm is, is even more interesting. So the R2L has been the result of three years development program, which has um, been trying to evolve a bite alarm, which operates completely differently from any others that are out there on the market. It uses an infrared light system um, and uh, so a beam and a very, very small wheel which is perforated and to simplify it, it makes a very, very simple, uh, very, very sensitive even uh, way of, a, of um, detecting line movement, but at the same time keeping power um, consumption from the battery very, very low. Um, so it's a very, very new system, um, low power consumption, very, very sensitive. Um, on its most sensitive setting, the R2L will detect line, line movement as low as two millimetres. Uh, but at the same time, you can obviously dial it up or down to suit your particular circumstances. Last night, as you can see from the weed that's blown up my rods, um, we had some very stormy conditions, lots of wind, lots of drifting weed and so on. Um, I didn't get any false bleeps because I could adjust it exactly how I needed to. Um, so I fitted these actually with the new SNZ bobbins and you can see that very, very sensitive. That's not on the most sensitive setting, um, but that's about right for this situation. You'll notice the secondary LED, which is the drop back function. So that's got its own tone and its own light, as you can see there which is always handy so you know what's going on when you're away from the bite alarms, you know what you need to react to. Um, so obviously the full, full range of uh, 10 different settings for volume, tone and sensitivity, 10 different ranges. We've got the power uh, button here, just press and hold for on and off. Um, it's also got um, an auto activated nightlight setting. So when you've activated that nightlight setting, um, it's got a sensor in the alarm it will then come on in periods of low light levels. So just on dusk, the, light, the night light will self-activate. You probably notice these uh, snag ears, or if we, if we come on this one, I've, I've just extended one because this rod is fishing round at an angle, um, but you can just twist and lift and have, have the pair of them locked up like so. Um, Built-in uh, snag ears, so very, very nice looking alarm. One that's going to be, prove very, very popular, I'm sure. It's already very popular with me and the guys on this lake who have been uh, coming around and asking me about it. Uh, this is the receiver, beautiful little receiver. We can see that we've got a threaded area at the bottom if you want to fit it to a bank stick. Um, also comes with a lanyard if that is your preference. I like to have it on the bivy table next to me or in my pocket. Um, this has got a couple of nice little features. So you can key it to four different alarm heads, different colors. Um, two features here which I really like. If you get a couple of bleeps and you want to know which rod it was because the LED's gone off by the time you get to the rod, the memory button, uh, the memory function will show you which rod um, has shown a signal, which is quite handy and quite unique. I've not seen one that will do that. This is nice as well. If you want a little bivy light on your table, then that's uh, a nice little feature. You can dial up and down with the volume and on off with the power. Same metal speaker which um, gives uh, considerable volume should it be required and you get a lot of range with this receiver which isn't saying that it's good angling to be a long way off your rods but having very very long range transmission um, on these means that if there are any obstacles between you and your rods like a high bank or some reeds or something you will still get a good strong signal. So that's the R2L bite alarm and uh, that's what I'm using for this season. Very, very good.